Hey guys, um, I'm gonna try this again. I've tried this like four times and I keep getting interrupted. Um, I know I had posted a video about how I had done an oyster dive with Lottie and we made lockets and I had a lot of people questioning what it was, how it's done, and they weren't quite understanding it. Um, basically, I had joined a company. It's called Stamp for You. I'm sure this information is going to show up backwards to you because I'm in selfie mode. Um, but I can send you a link to my site anytime. Um, and the way it works is you can do it a couple different ways. The way I did it with Lottie, which is where we ordered our lockets and an oyster, they come together and you do it all here at home yourself. Um, it's really fun. Lottie had a blast. It's great for kids. Um, as long as you're doing the part with the knife and the sharp stuff, then you're good. Lottie loved watching it happen. Um, or if you're not into that, you can actually, on my site, it gives you the option of opening the oyster yourself or the company will do it for you. And when they do it for you, they actually make a YouTube video. They send you the link so you can watch it all being done. Um, and so that way you kind of get to live watch it be done as well and just not have to do it yourself. Um, so I'm gonna kind of show you how it's done when I did it with Lottie. So here's our locket. I'm just gonna set that aside for now. Right now I've got, um, it's just a cutting board underneath. And this is the oyster. They come all individually packed like this. It's really nice. And you just open it up. Sorry, I apologize. And then very carefully with our sharp little knife. Now, sometimes you can make them, you can squeeze them. Some of them open really easy, and others are a complete bear. Uh, when I did Lottie's, it was completely awful. <laughs> okay, but you kind of, you squeeze it so you can kind of see where it opens up. And the best thing to do is just kind of follow it down, get down to the little knuckle here, and you can pry it open. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Again, if you're going to do this with kids, make sure you're the one doing it with a knife because it can be kind of dangerous. Once you get it popped, some of them break apart. Not quite yet, boo. Not quite done. You open it up. Sometimes the shell ain't pretty. You kind of squish around it. Ooh, that's a pretty one. Always check around to make sure you don't have twins. Lottie and I. When we, twins. No, it's not twins this time, baby, but it is a gorgeous. I don't know if you can see, but that's like a pinky, peachy color pearl. It's very, very pretty. I do have my little helper over here right now. And once you get it open, you're going to just kind of take a little bit of table salt, just a little bit in your hands. I can do it. No, you can't do this part, baby. You kind of squish it around. Just to get the rest of the gook off. <laughs> Told you I got my helper here. And then you take a soft cloth and give it a little polish. A little polish? With yeah. That? <gasps> Another mermaid. And then it's all clean. And once it's all clean, you can kind of move Aww. all the yucky stuff. That's a and I will put it in my little mermaid to make Lottie happy. Mm. You can kind of see. Yeah. See the color of the pearl. It's really actually kind of pretty. <laughs> Don't touch, babe. Hey, babe. Okay, and the way these lockets work is it's really easy. You just slide it off its chain, Lottie. And they just pop open. Lottie, enough. You put your pearl in. And you close it back up. You slide that back in. Is a, it is a papa pearl. And that's it. That is how easy it is done. And you have a very pretty pearl inside your locket. Um, I've also had a couple people ask me how they find out the values of the pearls. There's no real way to definitely say, oh yes, your pearl is worth, you know, X, Y, Z. Um, the best way to do it in my recommendation is to actually take it to a jeweler. They know what to look for. I've tried looking it up online to see if there's a way to um, see if there's a definite way to find a value but there really isn't. We've looked. I've looked. The owners looked. 
Um, so basically, take it to a jeweler if you really care. I honestly, I honestly don't care what they're worth. <laughs> I just think they're pretty. So if you're like me, this was fun. It's they make great Christmas presents. So if you want my information, I'm glad to get it to you. I hope you enjoy this. Sorry about the interruptions, but. If you have any questions, let me know.